Okay, hello and welcome to Game and Rider. And today we're going to look at controllers. controllers All kinds are of controllers. My favorite things in the world because you get to play video games with them. Yeah, we're going to look at all kinds of different types and different things. We'll kind of go from old to new, but with each system. Okay. Uh, we're going to save Nintendo for last. So let's, let's do. Let's the PlayStation. Let's we'll start with the PlayStation stuff? Okay. So, the first is the PlayStation controller. That's what I wanted to start with. The original PS1 controller. The PS1. That I want a game called Crash Bandicoot. Okay. I started out playing the PS1's first Sony system I'd ever played. Um, I, like I really loved Tony Hawk Pro Skater, the demo, free demo you got from Pizza Hut, I believe it was. Um, after, I like this design of this controller at first. I used to have a thumb back then though. But, um, you'll notice it doesn't have the two analog sticks, which um, games like, I think, Shinobi, that was on uh, PS1. We only, one, we only have one game on our PS1. That they they weren't as good without the Dual Shock. I like the Dual Shock. So this is the first generation PS1 controller. What do you think about it? I think it looks really good. I just want to turn this on so I can play it now. <laughs> it has a good look and it has a good feel. I like that it's light. And did you it, it, is, it is a good feeling controller. I like that controller. But I think <laughs> the improvements they made to that controller with the PS2 were much better. You know what? I want a game on PlayStation 1. Go. Did you know that Crash Bandicoot? I want that game on PlayStation 1. Cool. Okay, this is the controller for PS2. Um, still corded, which I don't, you know, that is... I play Madagascar on my PlayStation 2. Yeah. I do like this controller. This I like the way it feels. Dogs it's dogs. harder with the lack of a thumb for me to reach that... Um, See, like his thumbs, his thumb is... Off. Like, yeah. I can play it really easy on this thing. Yeah, it, it's ergonomically, it's got a good design. Like in I, Madagascar, you just like play it on PlayStation 2 and you can have these on it. Yeah, I, I like I like the design. Uh, I liked it a lot more when I was younger because I could reach it. And I was really big in the PS2. I played a lot of games on PS2. First Ghost Recon, um, the Pro Skater stuff. Um, really loved um, the, Splinter the, Cell. The games I want to play on PlayStation are Crash Bandicoot that Mom used to play when she was a kid. She used to play that game all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I play Crash. I like Crash. So that's the PS2 controller. I like it. We do not, we've never played PS3. We've never used we a PS3. We had the PS4, but we got rid of it. We, we did have PS4, and um, um, it's, it's basically the same design. Um, the thing I noticed is it feels more spread out, uh, but it feels a little better ergonomically. It fits a little bit better. Of of the three, um, oh, like all four of these. Because look at look at the size difference when you get. So it, it keeps basically the same footprint. My favorite. It just gets maybe. Is like the, the uh, like I like the PlayStation ones. I would have to be honest with you. I think feel wise. PlayStation 1 feels a lot better if, um, I do like the PS1. I think the PS1 controller would have been a great controller for the NES, Super NES, and Sega systems because I like this feel better. But because of it being wireless and yeah. having the, the two analog sticks, I'd really like the PS4 too. I, I actually played a Crash Bandicoot game on, yes, the, on the PS4. It was insane, truly game. And for this controller, you actually have to turn on that light. Yeah, right there. So, and so that is the Sega system. Sega 1, 2, and 3. Or PS1, 2, and 3. Not Sega, this is PlayStation. Just PS1, 2, and 3. And then we ended it with the PS4 controller. Now, I guess the next thing, and we've only got... Um, I didn't pick up the right controllers. I meant to pick up the Xbox 360 controller, but... This is an Xbox One. It looks just like the Xbox 360. Like and this is an Xbox One. This one actually works. I love the, the sticks on the Xbox and Xbox One controllers. I have like Sonic Mini on my Xbox One. I have like a Marvel and Frozen and Fall or something, whatever it's called. But I love those games. This to me is probably the best design. And I think... Uh, Nintendo ripped it off with their Pro Controllers. 
I, I this like this. Good as a, good, this. This could have been good as a um, Nintendo controller. Yes, well, we kind of have something like that. We'll get to later. So this is the the Xbox One, which is very similar to the Xbox. Now the Xbox Three, the original Xbox um, controller was a corded controller, bigger, kind of chunky. Uh, similar but chunky. I did not like it as much. I really like the Xbox 360 and Xbox One controllers. I like those. They feel good. Um, let's do some Sega. We don't have all the systems here, uh, but we do have two of the systems. Two we have, we have Sega, Genesis Sega Genesis and Dreamcast. And Sega Dreamcast. Now, I never played with that game. That game. Um, this you play with a lot. And I do like the design. This is not a horrible design. Just compared to something like the PS4 like or the Xbox 360, fun. it's a little too big. And, and I'm not crazy about all the design. I just want to play it now. But you love that controller, don't you? I, I just want to play it right now. This controller. I never heard of that. The Dreamcast controller. Yeah, we've had a Dreamcast for years. Wait, I've, never ha I've never played it, though. We've got rid of them on and off. You played them when you were younger. Um, the Dreamcast controller, I, I'm not crazy about. I never even played that. Oh. You've played it. You were just maybe too little to remember. I, I just, it's okay, but I'm, I, just the desire to have a Dreamcast because I didn't have one when they came out. Uh, I do like about the Dreamcast. This Let's, is my favorite part about the Dreamcast controller. Ah! It failed! Yes. The built-in. Um, memory card with you the put, playable do you, game. Do you play it on that? Well, you save. This is your memory card you save off of. I want to see. But you can take out some games, like some of the Pokemon games, and take it with you and play it That's when it's so charged. Cool. That is a really neat design they came up with. I even like that. I still, but I still like this game. Yeah. So out of the two Sega-wise, and like we don't have Master System, we don't have Sega CD, none of that here with us. What? But... Out of these two designs, I do like the Genesis design better. What, what if they had a Pokemon Red and Blue on the Dreamcast? <laughs> That'd be cool. I think that they just kind of wanted to go for something different with the Dreamcast. And it's definitely different. You can play Sonic Shuffle. Now, we're going to go in order. Uh, like, for the most part. Oldest to newest. This is like the, this is the new one. NES. So we're going to go with the oldest. And now this is what my favorite. A lot of people played. I wasn't like. I, I didn't play an Atari until after I played other systems. The I, first system I ever played, other than arcade games, the first home system I ever played was the NES. Was the NES. I love like arcade games. I like Pac-Man. I I love Pac-Man. You yeah. just like eat power pellets. Yeah. You so the ghost. My f this to me it's a very simple design. I always really like this controller. And Pac-Man was on the NES too. And I like the way it feels. It actually looks like one of those, like, and the, and, and it's the, Pac-Man started out as an arcade game, and then it came to NES. Yeah. The NES well, version's better. Well, this is set up something like an arcade. You have your buttons, and, you know, this just replaces the joystick. And so, that, the and, ideal. And that's what, the, yeah. that's what Pac-Man used to have. On yeah, the, 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 the ideal, the game. principle's the same, but this is just a simple controller. A fairly easy controller. I don't know if it's because it's one of my favorite systems of all time, and it's the first system I played that I like it so much. But I really, really like it. You, you just go around when you're Pac-Man and you just eat power bills. Yeah. When you eat the big ones, you get like the ghosts turn blue, and then you just eat them, and then yeah. they go back to their home base, and they turn back to normal. Yeah. So it's a limited controller. You know, there's not a lot of options. You basically only yeah. have two action buttons. A well, control. my favorite game on this is Super Mario Brothers and Pac-Man. Yeah. You've got a control pad, a directional pad, and two action buttons, and then a, a pause and a select. But that's really all you have. But I really like that. And that's the first Nintendo controller American-wise that we got. Uh, the next system we covered in a the video Super Nintendo. earlier. Was I, the and Super this is the Nintendo Super Nintendo. Controller. Now, we talked about that. kind of looks like a dog bone. It does. Another controller that I think feels really, really good. And I like this because you can play, like, I like Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, and Kirby Superstar. Yeah. I, I really love this controller. I, I like the feel of it. I think it was a good transition oh, from this to this. Um, 
I, I like it. The Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo are the same graphics, but different. Similar graphics, they are. But now, here's size difference between that Sega controller and that Super NES controller. I guess as a kid, I felt like I could control this a little better. If you were a Sega uh, fan, But even as an adult, I have small hands. If you hands. were a Sega fan, you would play Sega more than Super Nintendo. But if you were a Nintendo fan, you would play Nintendo more than Sega. Yeah. But I really, really like this controller. Uh, you'll find that I really like most Nintendo controllers. I say most. Now, after that, the next thing would be... Into Nintendo 64. Yes. I, st we, I love all Nintendo consoles. Now, this controller, Is like, when it came out... It kind of looks like a dinosaur hand. I somewhat liked it because it was new. I'm not going to lie to you. As I've got older, I do not There's like... There's a button behind it. Yeah, I, I do not like this controller. This, I, it kind of looks like a dinosaur hand. Yeah, it does. It kind of looks like a, what, like a claw. I, I could, like, if I was like this. <laughs> I just want to play this right now. I, I played Super Smash I'll tell you what I like. I like Super Mario 64. It's one of my favorite games. I played, like, Super Mario 64 or Golden. I don't, I don't play Golden Eye. I, I played like Super Smash Bros. playing ones. Super Mario 64 on the Wii U download it. It's a lot easier, a lot better control. I do not like this controller. As I it's not my least favorite, but I, I don't like I don't it. like about Super Smash I don't like about Super Smash Brothers. You just like that that little thing there just I can't move any direction. It, it's hard. When um I really loved Goldeneye and um Super Mario sixty four when I got this system. Ever since this came out it it was everyone's favorite I think. No. But except no. for the controllers, yeah, the, the, I don't. I, I think I don't think a lot of people liked the system uh, as much as they did some of the other systems. But I loved it. As far as you know, it did have a ton of games I loved, but I loved it. But I do not like this controller, especially the older I get. Now going from the sixty four, the next thing would be like the GameCube. The GameCube. Now the GameCube controller is different. And I like, to me, I like it this. mimics. It looks this really is where good. they start kind of mimicking they, the Xbox design. And this one looks really good. Yeah. I the, like Super Mario This is Super obviously Super. a not newer design, but the, the Xbox 360 um, I think has like, this design. So maybe they took it from here. You know, I don't know who got it from who, but I like the layout of this controller. This controller plays really good, and that is why a lot of people... Uh, when when they first got a hold of Super Smash Brothers with this controller, this is still the controller design everybody wants to play Super yeah. Smash Brothers on, and, and it does. It has a good yeah. good feel, good design. And my favorite games are on this, like Luigi's Mansion and and like Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. This is my least favorite system that Nintendo ever made, just because I didn't own one right off. I didn't they didn't have a lot of Mario stuff on it. The but Mario they stuff they did still have was different. The, and Mario still had the best games, though. Yeah, they don't take advantage of Mario the way they should often. But like some games of like like Sega to Mario, like they just don't. I, I guess Sega doesn't roll up to Mario. I guess Mario's better than Sega. I guess. Well, no, uh, Sega has Sonic. Like, they don't. Sega's now a software company. They don't make systems anymore. Like, but they don't have the rights to make Mario. That's not what I mean. If if I were Nintendo. I would make a lot more quality Mario if games I was for like, my system. If I was Sega, I would live in the Sonic world where Sonic, and I would run faster. <laughs> you fast. like Sonic. You're getting really big into Sonic. And he would so, be a plumber. So, this is the GameCube controller. Now, from the GameCube, we go to the Nintendo, the Nintendo Wii. Um, Nintendo Wii. The Wii controller is the, okay. And it also plays the Nintendo Wii U. Yeah, and, and this is Wii. Uh, it, it's okay. It's not... The Wii was so popular back in 2006. It, it was. It, it's good for those types of games, but I'm not crazy about this controller. I don't hate it. It's basically, to me, it is the I original. I games on this thing is for, like, Wii Sports. I would love that game. It's basically the NES controller turned up. Have you um, ever played Wii Sports on the Nintendo Wii? It's my favorite game on this yeah. thing. I like the music. Yeah. It was actually the first games made for this console. So this came with the Wii, came with a um, Wii Sports game, a, a nunchuck, and and you could use it in variation. I didn't like that. Did it? Um, did it also when they came out? Did it came with Wii Sports? Uh, yes, some some of them did. Uh, a lot of them did. I think ours did. But the the Wii controller, the Wii controller, 
come with an armchair. I'm not crazy about the design. It's okay. I like it for like Mario Maker games that are based like NES games. I don't like the nunchuck at all. That's annoying. Um, but the original Wii had a port for GameCube controllers, so you could plug in GameCube controllers, and, and you can so plug in that Game that made it, games that were GameCube compatible. Use now when you go to the Wii U, it changes. Um, there were a lot of plug and play options for and there were a lot of games. Yeah, on. for a classic controller, for all these different types of controllers, there were different ones you could plug in. The one that I use the most that kind of looks like GameCube. It do, well, I think that that was kind of the ideal because yeah, of because of, of the um, the popularity of the GameCube controller. It, it is a GameCube controller. That's what it is. It's the same design. They just, um, it's a little bigger, maybe a little it's bulkier. A toe. It's, it's toe. It doesn't feel as good to me because it's a little fatter right here. And there's but, three little buttons. Yeah. And you use this to play Splatoon. Yeah. And, and I like like games like Splatoon. I hate with you know I, I like with this type of controller. Like it would have been miserable with this. Splatoon is fun with that type of design. I like Splatoon. It's but good. You had the, the Wii Classic controller. Um, yeah, you had all kinds of different plug-in controllers like to go for. When the Wii U first came out, they came with the Wii. They came out with the gamepad. Now this was kind of the controller for the Wii U. You had the option of the Wii little small Wii controller still, and, um, and you could. And by this point, they had Pro controllers and all that. But this is a good setup. Now Ryder has went in and rearranged the button configuration on this, I love um, this. to what he likes, and I can't use it now. I love this. But he really likes it, and it works really well for him the way he's configured I these like buttons. I like the Wii U title. Yeah. So this this is probably Ryder's probably There's favorite controller. There's a lot of buttons on this. Thing. Yeah. This is probably Ryder's favorite controller. It's very interactive. Everything's built in. It's very durable. Um, it, it's a good controller. It's a good setup. I like that. But then we went from the Wii U to the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch, and originally with the Nintendo Switch, you had two options: Joy Cons, which I despise and are the worst, um, in my opinion, the worst controller they've ever had. And my favorite games on there are like the new Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, um, um, Super Smash Brothers, and Super Mario Party yeah. are probably my favorite. So what do you, what do you think about the Joy Cons? Those are actually look pretty good. They don't look as bad. I don't like them. They don't feel good. If you're playing and a game, if you're playing a game with these to where you only have one, I like these. The the positioning on them are very different. I, I don't like them. But I like these. I like that controller this, the best. This setup. Well, we'll get to it. We don't got to it yet. This setup is okay with these the Joy Cons. With the Joy Cons slide on. And these that are like setup, the neon ones. Yeah. That setup is okay. I um, like the color ones better. I still don't like this setup. Um, I don't like the Joy Cons. And then you have another option with the Joy Cons. You can put you have the, the odd. We have the Odyssey yeah. controller. Let's show them that. We have this controller. And then and it has a picture of Mario and Cappy. Yeah. And and that setup is okay, but you can tell like it's still. It's just I don't I don't like this. We just found this. That is amazing. And this to That's me a pro controller. is the best setup for that the Switch. That looks like the original Mario 3. And this will save the Switch for me because I love some of the games on the Switch. It doesn't have I hate, batteries. I hate the controller. And I love this controller. This is a much better option. It has two weird buttons right here that are kind of odd. But if you'll notice, this is going back to the design for oh, that's weird. the. That's, yeah. it, it, it's going back to the design. It's very similar to. The Xbox One, but it's also similar to Look at the, the Pro that's, Controller. That's right there. Look at the Yeah, that's awesome. So let's let's look at them. What if this front. was? What if Mario came to? What if this controller came to life with this? That'd be crazy. Oh, if it scrolled across, like if it, if if the scene played across it while you were playing. Yeah. That'd be pretty neat. But I like that. That's a good. That's a good design. So of all the controllers from all the different systems, what's probably your favorite controller? I'm probably gonna say. The Wii, the PlayStation, and the that Switch. No, one, one controller. Like, of every one of them. The Switch, one. that this Switch. This one. I'm going to agree with you design-wise. I love that the like design. Like the original Mario 3. This feels a little bit better to me. So I'm going to go with the Xbox uh, One and 360 controller is the best feeling. But it's just because there's a slight difference 
because back here. Too but I I like the system much better. But I'm gonna go with Xbox One and Xbox 360. So what's your least favorite controller out of all of them? I, the one you like the least. I'm going to have to say the Nintendo Six. I I think I'm just going to say the Nintendo 64. 64. It's probably in my top three worst. This to me is the worst. The Joy Cons. I hate them. I'm not crazy about the Dreamcast. So that's our video on controllers. Um, like and subscribe and, and leave something in the comments and tell us what your favorite controller is, what controller you like least, and, and if you got anything to say about controllers. What and what do you want us to do next? Yeah. We'll do another video. Yeah, next. we're gonna start doing many more vehicle uh, videos. We're gonna have three drop right back to back we're to like, back. We're gonna be like three thousand videos. <laughs> so there'll be like I said, there'll be three drop right back to back to back within a couple of days, maybe a couple of hours, depending on how what time we get to put them up. So say bye. Bye.